This video is sponsored by Streamlabs, a Logitech company. How do you live stream to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch at the same time? All you need is Melon by Logitech. Melon makes it super easy to live stream to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch at the same time. And it takes literally seconds to get started. The first thing you're going to do is go to melonapp.com and then you click on login and log in with any of your existing accounts on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or Periscope or with your own email. As soon as you do that, you'll be taken to Melon App Studio, which you can see right here. And this is where you're going to control your entire stream. I'm going to give you a quick tour of all the features inside the Melon Studio. Uh, so as soon as you log in, it's going to recognize your webcam, which you can see right here. And uh, you can hide it on the stream or show it on the stream. That window here in the middle is what people are going to be seeing. And you can control your microphone, mute yourself. You can stop your video or start your video. You can select a different camera if you want to. And you can also share your screen. You can share your entire screen, an application window, or a Chrome tab. If you uh, decide to show a video, let's say that you want to show a uh, YouTube video, you can click on that and make sure you click on share audio so people can also listen to the audio from that video. You click share. So when you go back to the studio, you'll see that tab being shared and you can click show on the stream. And now that video will show up on the stream. And if you play it back, I'm going to play it back. Courses online. You can see how it's playing back. And what's really neat is that you can rearrange the uh, windows inside your stream. So I can just drag and drop it like that. And uh, then I can uh, hide it on the stream anytime or show it on the stream. I can make myself bigger by just clicking on these uh, arrows here. Or I can make the screen bigger, what I'm sharing. And uh, let's stop sharing. The next button is show chat. So when you're streaming to multiple platforms, you can see the chats coming from either YouTube or Facebook right here. And you would have also a private chat to speak with people within the stream as well. The next neat feature is that you can edit the graphics on your screen. You can change your name here. You can decide whether your stream at full HD quality or not. You can record the stream so you can upload it later to other platforms if you want to. You can show and hide your participant names. Uh, the audio status, you can show whether they're muted or not. And you can show a logo on the top right corner, a banner, a ticker, where you can edit the contents and the color of it if you want to, right? And the actual text that appears. And you can turn it on and off. And you can also change the background. So if I make this smaller, then I can change the background to uh, either upload my own background or just choose one of the background backgrounds that are available here. I like the one with the space behind me. You have a lot of control on the graphics that you can show. Now, the really cool stuff is that you can invite people. And the way you do that, you just click here on invite guests. That's going to copy a link. You just share the link. And I'm going to share the link with myself. So I'm going to be a guest of my own show. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to just copy that link on a private window here. And you'll see what happens as a guest. You allow your microphone and camera. Allow. And now I, keep, I can give myself a name. Guest1. And make sure that everything is working. I'm sharing a different camera now. Uh, the audio input. And join. And now it's going to tell me that I'm joining. The host can see you and can add you to the broadcast anytime. So if I go back to the studio, I can see that the guest has appeared already and I decide whether I, I allow him or her now. Just if I allow this person, I would click show on the stream and now there I am, the guest. Guest just showed up and it's me, which is weird because I see myself twice. But you can imagine this would be a second person. Now you can rearrange the windows here and remember, what we're seeing here is what people are seeing on the stream on YouTube or Facebook or whichever platform 
you choose to stream. And what I really like here is on the bottom left corner, you can rearrange your guests and your screens as well, like that. You can see, just click on the buttons and I can mute my guest by clicking here or turn their camera off and on. And if I want to make them bigger, I just click on that arrow and that guest becomes bigger or I become bigger. On the paid plan, you can add, add up to six guests. So I'm gonna do something really interesting. I'm gonna add myself again a third time through my iPhone. So the great thing about Melon is that it works also from a mobile device. So right now I'm going to add myself to the stream through my mobile device. And <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> and I'm joining and it should show up that there is a third guest trying to join the stream. You can see there, that's my iPhone. <laughs> and I'm going to show myself on the stream. And as you can see, now there are three guests, three of me. <laughs> and I can arrange the screens again and I can put me side by side. And the great thing is that if you're sharing with multiple cameras is that you can use one camera to maybe use like an overhead picture of what you are writing on a piece of paper. So let me just do that here. So let's say that I wanna share what I'm writing here. I could make that bigger, okay. And now I could start writing on this. We're going to write something, All right? Hola. Okay. And I can make that smaller and go like this or like this or like this. And now you can see my overhead screen, which is really nice. Cool. And if somebody misbehaves, you can kick them out. No problem. You would just simply hide them from the screen and turn their uh, microphone off. Or you can simply click here and kick them out like this. I'm kicking myself out of the stream. <laughs> Next thing you can do is go live. So how do you go live? You just click on go live and you select the platforms where you want to go live. It can be either YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or Periscope. Periscope, they're going to shut down Periscope uh, fairly soon. So that's not gonna be available anymore or to a custom uh, streaming platform. Okay. And then you would select the visibility on the platform, whether it's private uh, or unlisted on YouTube and on Facebook, uh, which page you want to go to. So now the way you connect your platforms is you simply go to your profile here and go to settings. And then you would connect your platforms here, YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. And as soon as you do that, they become available on your studio. So when you decide to go live, you can select them here and you would go live. The other thing you can do as well is schedule a, a broadcast and you click on schedule, click the plus button, and then you would also select the platforms where you want to schedule your stream and then you click on next stream and then you select the date you give it a title for your stream a description you can even upload a thumbnail and then you would say schedule and that would be scheduled on youtube and facebook and twitch and that's a tour of metal i think it's a great easy to use live stream platform that allows you to multicast to several platforms at the same time the free plan allows you to get started and have up to one guest. And if you join for $15 a month or if on the annual plan, $12.5 a month with an early bird discount, you can have unlimited streaming up to six guests. You can have brand customizations, no watermark, full HD, VIP support, and a bunch of other goodies. All right, well, happy streaming. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.